about how you as a fitness professional, you can include nutrition as part of your service. So we often get uh, requests from clients who want to improve their physical ability, yeah, they want to look good, they want to lose weight, they come to us with a fitness goal. So we know that other than exercise, nutrition is very important and what we want to make sure is that we know how to guide our clients step by step in terms of how they make changes into their eating habits. So today I'm going to present to you how you can do this in a four step method. method. I call this the D-I-E-T. So first of all, we start from the step D, which I call it the desired outcome. So number one, you want to make sure that you clearly know what does your client want in terms of their fitness goal. Because over here, of course, as a personal trainer, you would have done this as part of your assessment. You will ask them what is their goal. You want to know what they want to achieve. Over here, in terms of nutrition, you want to do a bit more to make sure that you really understand what they want so that they can customize what they need to do in terms of nutrition. Because I'm sure you know, having to eat and having to diet for a six packs will be very different if you compare it to someone who wants to just be healthy. So when we find out what they really want, we might want to find out what is the motivation. If someone wants to lose weight, what is it for? So that will actually change how we help them in nutrition, how far we should go when it comes to making dietary changes. Now, the second step is going to be investigation. Now, this part is very important because I want to find out about every every single thing about this person's eating habit. So I'm not going to just ask this person what he or she is eating on a daily basis. I will also find out why this person eats certain food, where they eat, who they eat with, and maybe what time they eat. So everything about this person's eating habit is going to help you to find solution that actually works for this person. Because you see, when it comes to choosing food choices, everyone has a different reason. Why do we choose certain food? Where do we eat certain food? So this is going to make a lot of difference when it comes to understanding this person's eating habit and making sure that we find a solution that works for this person. Now that we collected all the information that we need from our client, then we will move to the education and empower phase. So on, in this phase, like what I mentioned earlier, once I found out everything about this person eating habit, I will be able to help them to find a solution that works for them. So for example, if someone tells you where they eat their lunch, they eat out. So if they eat out, I'm going to make sure that I try and help this person to make better choice whenever he's eating out instead of asking him to meal prep. Because although meal prep is a good idea, but if for this person who has been eating out all this while to meal prep, it's going to be a huge change for this person and it's difficult. So when it comes to education and empower, I will find out what this person needs to improve and let them tell me what they want to change. I call this empowerment. I want to learn from my client what they think that they are able to change and from there, we're going to work from there step by step. So when it comes to education, what we're trying to say here is instead of telling them what to do, instructing them what to do, educate them, give them enough knowledge and enough empowerment so that they can actually make their own decision when it comes to changes. And last but not least, trial and error. Nothing's going to work for the first time, trust me. So what we need to do as coaches is to make sure that once we help our client with a solution, we make sure that we always follow up, we monitor their progress, and we are like a detective. We try to troubleshoot, we try to find out the problem, and if it doesn't work for them, it's fine. We just have to know that it doesn't work for them. We improvise and we help them to find a better solution. So that's about it for the IET. I would say that if you follow this step-by-step -step coaching model to help your clients to eat better, I'm sure you'll be able to help them to eat better and to help them to achieve their fitness goal. All the best.